Tsawa Angler Gold Ashanti says it's not divesting from South Africa but enhancing its margins by investing outside. Its CEO Srinivasan Venkatakrishnan told delegates at the mining in Durban, Cape Town that the company is merely seeking to enhance its margins. Yes, mining in Daba, but there are concerns that they may be more cautious to signing deals. Angler Gold Ashanti CEO Srinivasan Venkatakrishnan told delegates that its capital expenditure in operations further north in Africa and Australia are aimed at making better margins. The mine employs about 25,000 people in South Africa. In terms of our global spread of business, one in four ounces come from South Africa and 75% comes from the rest of the world. In terms of our capital allocation, it follows a pretty much similar pattern. It's not that we are not investing in South Africa. Uh, we are continuing to do our Impanang uh, deepening project, uh, which is taking the mine beyond 120 level, and that consumes a good investment each year. Vigata Krishnan insists that the long-term integrity of the key South African operations are very much intact. But there are concerns, though, that the risk of volatile labor relations, rising costs, regulatory disruptions are seeing investment move elsewhere. Investors have not had a return on gold here in a long, long time. Investors haven't had the traditional 7% dividend here in decades. And they can see, unfortunately, industry and government are bumping heads. They're not walking the same road. They're not talking the same language. The only time they talk is when they go to court. Angler Gold Ashanti is one of two gold players who have lashed out at the government's Section 54 law, which shuts down entire mine operations if lives are believed to be at risk. We have been public in saying that we do not have an issue with Section 54s. I think it's a good tool when applied correctly. What two areas you have to bear in mind is the proportionality and also uniformity in terms of applications. Venkata Krishnan says talks over possible retrenchments of 800 workers are still ongoing with unions. Investors at this in Darbo will be watching those mining production figures out this week. It's forecast to come in at negative 3% for December following a negative 4.2% in November. Mining production is expected to add negatively to the overall economic growth figure for 2016. Devon Murrigan, SABC News, Cape Town.